Good morning guys, it is day 10 and today we reach another milestone and that is getting to the border with uh, North Carolina. Today is also the day where I'm gonna get rained on. There's no escaping it. After 10 days, this will be the first day, the first rainy day. So that's uh, pretty good. We got an 11 point something uh, mile day. We're gonna be climbing all the way up to uh, like 2,000 meters uh, of elevation gain to uh, the next shelter. There's nothing in between, a few campsites. I need to get some water, but since we're gonna start the day on a climb, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit until I'm a little bit higher up. Good day ahead. Let's make it to the trailhead. It's 8.25 in the morning. I was the first one out the door at the hostel. Yesterday we had a great time there with all the through hikers uh, and also with Terry, a volunteer, which uh, took us to get resupplies and then he took us to the bar. He actually owns a, a hostel, uh, like the stage before you enter the white. So he told us that if we get there, we get a free night at his hostel. So yeah, I actually had to record him because he says he doesn't recognize most of the people because they grow beards and they get super skinny. So yeah, Terry, I'm gonna hold you up to that. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody today on the trail or on the road, but I'm sure there's a ton of people behind me. And tonight, temperature might actually drop into the low 30s. So it might be another cold night. It's funny thing is I remember yesterday, you guys probably laughed at this, but I had a, a little bit of a toothpaste on my lip the entire trip from, uh, from the shelter to uh, the hostel and I didn't even realize it. So yeah, the joke was on me. <laughs> it is very overcast, groomy. You see the clouds rolling by and you see like a squirrel every now and then. And I'm starting to see more and more signs of uh, beware of bears and snakes. I don't know which one is more scary right now, a bear or seeing a snake, <laughs> a poisonous snake. But I'm sure I'm gonna see both and plenty of it. So let's continue on walking because today is gonna be a long, wet and beautiful day, of course. So I had the option of staying at muskrat shelter or keep going an extra six miles to a uh, standing Indian uh, shelter. We'll see. Just got some water from a stream. Did not filter it, so I just have it on my Catadine Be Free uh, pouch. You know, I have to grab it whenever I see it because some of the, wa the water sources are away from the trail. You kind of have to go down to the stream down below, then make your way up. Don't need much water right now. Maybe I'll make myself some tea a little bit further down the line. I thought there for a second that I got a, some water sprinkled on me. Could have been a branch that I hit, or maybe it's about to start raining. It will rain today, it's just a matter of when. So I'm trying to get as much footage as I can now before it starts raining and I have to put all the electronics away. Great thing is that my Insta360 camera is waterproof and I can also vlog with my phone which is also waterproof, but this camera will have to go into my pouch. Yep, still haven't seen any hikers today, so I may, I may be at the front of the line. So uh, let's go into uh, today's stage. As you can see, we started in above the cloud, a uh, hostel, I had to walk 
about 0.5 uh, miles to uh, the trailhead and today I got a few uh, water sources along the way so I don't have to worry about carrying too much and it's also going to be raining so there's probably going to be water uh, streaming down uh, the mountain. The plan is to stay at this shelter over here and what is it called? But Plum Shark Gap Shelter. Now that's not the one meaning I'm going to go further probably that's where I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to stay in this one over here. Yeah, Musk Rat Creek uh, Shelter. We started all the way down here and we're going to be climbing for the majority of the day. As you can see, that's the kind of like the profile that we have. We have uh, the water sources, as I mentioned before. And then once we are up here, it's just going to be traversing come on it's going to be traversing all the way up here all the way to other uh, shelter there are two options that i have i can stay at musrack shelter or keep going an extra few uh, miles we'll see when i get there as always so yes There's lining, the ground is super slippery. I've seen a couple of people going uh, south. I don't know if they're southbound or I doubt it. They look pretty fresh, <laughs> but it's been raining and it's been raining hard. Lining strikes, getting closer. Yeah, there's a shelter up ahead. I may stop there really quickly just to organize myself. Poseidon is wet. Poseidon doesn't like being wet, not today. <laughs> Man, it started raining there and it got pretty nasty at one point with lining hitting pretty close, I might say. And I uh, came across a few hikers and then, you know, slid a couple of times and eventually I fell down. It wasn't too bad. It was more like a slide into first uh, base. And then I made it to uh, the first shelter, which is uh, right behind me. It's quite away from uh, the AT, from the path. But I had to go there, you know, I had to get away from the elements. And I also wanted to make myself uh, lunch because there's nothing else from here to a uh, moss rat uh, shelter where I'm going to be staying tonight. I'm not going to continue, <laughs> not on a day like this. So there's not another shelter in between and I just wanted to have uh, uh, something hot. So I made myself some tea and I made myself uh, lunch and improvise. What is that, like a quesadilla or something? I don't know. And while I was there, other hikers showed up. Bear from around the bend showed up. And I also saw a few other ones that I haven't seen in a while. So yeah. That is the day today. Every day out here, something new. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get rained on, you know, no doubt about it. So it only took 10 days for this to happen. So, yeah, if I don't get to talk to you again until the next shelter, the next highlight is gonna be the border, which I thought I had passed for some reason. I got the weird feeling that I have missed it, but no, it's ahead, like a couple of miles ahead. So I gotta keep an eye out for that sign because it's very tiny on a tree. They say it is on an incline, so most people are just looking at the ground. So I gotta stay tuned. <laughs> so yeah, let's go.
Hey, on a side note, guys, the forest is starting to come to life, man. I'm seeing insects. I'm seeing uh, little um, lizards. The birds are singing. Look at the vegetation already. Not so dead anymore, right? I think by the time I get to the Smoky Mountains, it's gonna be a different story over there, all together. Yep. Almost made it to the border without the rain, but it caught me a few hundred feet in Georgia. Mm, what are you gonna do? By the way, as I was putting on my poncho, I realized that I already lost one of my flip-flops, so I'm leaving that behind before entering the new state. North Carolina, man. What happened to South Carolina? <laughs> one state down, 13 to go? Almost there. What a day guys, oh my god, I made it to camp around 4 p.m. and this place was already packed, of course, everybody's coming to this place. So I found a little area where I could set my tent around other people and uh, just, you know, lay down in there, completely soaking wet, took off all my clothes and I put on new ones and the temperature is just dropping fast, like my toes are just so numb right now. Tonight is gonna dip into like the low 30s or high 20s and I'm not ready for that temperature. So it's gonna be a cold one, kind of like it was in day two, I believe it was. So yeah, and also people here are talking about Wednesday getting as low as uh, the high teens. If that's the case, I may take a zero in Franklin because I do not have the gear for that. By the way, the minute I got to uh, the North Carolina uh, Georgia border I met this guy this uh, hiker that he found my flip-flop so yes I got them both I don't know what I would have done here because my uh, shoes are just soaking wet and just full of mud just made myself uh, some dinner and I'm gonna call it a day man because it's so cold and so you know <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys 